Nation, Papa Swag. You in the Papa Swag dance here? I'm Ben. I'm and together Scott. we are. I'm and together we are. I'm Cereal. And I'm. <laughs> we are Cereal United. We are together. We're father and son team. Welcome to our show. Today, Ben, I've been excited about episodes before, but miracles every once in a while happen. We found at a grocery store at Mark's Quisp cereal. I didn't know what that is. But ben. Quisp cereal. So I was telling the people I work with, I'm an old man, and I work with a bunch of young ladies that are in their 30s or early, late 20s, early 30s. She and, and Ben, I said, the last time I saw this cereal, and I told them, the last time I saw this cereal in a market, in a supermarket, was the late 70s. She that's right now, the only place you can really buy it's online, and once in a while, it'll be in a supermarket. So the fact that I found this in a supermarket Wait, was a minor miracle. What? When was the last time? Nineteen what? Nineteen seventy-nine. I think the last time I had it was at Aunt Rose's house. <laughs> Aunt Rose making that comeback in Neon, Kentucky. You like this? If I recall, I haven't had it in a long time. My memory from the seventies and eighties years, I hear. Uh, some of the other cereal reviewers talk about the cereals from the 70s and the 80s or the 80s, and I don't even remember half the cereals they talk about. I think I got stuck on Captain Crunch and Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and I like the crunch ones, and, I, and uh, Honey Nut Cheerios, and I kind of stuck with the old standbys. I'm Apparently, Quiz t- tastes a lot like Captain Crunch with a little bit of texture. That's what like, I read. Regular, regular Captain Crunch? Yeah. So Dude, If it does, fire! So I was reading about this, and it did say they did stop uh, distributing this at supermarkets in the late 70s, and they had a rivalry with another cereal. And if you know what that rivalry cereal was, put it in the comments. You know what I drew by the other day? What? The General Mills uh, factory or whatever. There's a General Mills factory here in Columbus? No, it's not in Columbus. It's in Ohio, though. Really? I thought it was in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Well, no, they make cereal there. Wow. I didn't know. I found that out. I forget where it is now. So if you're wondering who this character, I forget what the name name of. It's a little alien. I think his name is Quisp. Quisp. The little on the back is a little comic on the back here. So that's also interesting. If you're in the Columbus, Ohio area and you want to get this cereal, you can get this at Mark's Grocery Store. Is that if thunder? you're not in the Columbus area, huh? Is that thunder? We're doing a show. What are you talking about thunder for? I mean thunder. thunder. We're thunder and lightning. You're thunder and I'm lightning. I'm in a flash. Because you, you, you strike. <laughs> Papa Swag just got swag. That's how I got this crisp cereal. The other place you can buy if you're not in the Columbus area, there are other grocery stores that have it, but you can buy it online as well. Uh, I do want to go through the nutritional value of it. It's probably not very good for you. This cereal is so old that as most cereals have all the nutritional information on the front. There is no nutritional information on the front. <laughs> um, it's got... 19 grams of sugar per one and a quarter cup. Okay. And Captain Crunch took the freaking crisp, Quisp, and just made it. Well, I think Quisp came out in 69 or 65, 65 so, it's, so it's actually a year older than me. Okay. So I was born in 66. So now you know my age. But when did Captain Crunch come out? I don't know. I think in the, maybe in the 50s. Well, this is the same. Can you hand me a napkin? Yeah. Oh, nice of you. And I was it really glad. Like, one of the things that I was most excited about is sharing this cereal with my son, Ben, because he never got to experience this um, back in the 70s and 80s when it came out. No, it's got, yeah, it's got that Captain Crunch taste to it. Mm-hmm. Just identical. It really does. Here, here's the milk. I, even, I already know what I'm doing. Right? Oh, yeah, it does. I forgot how much it takes. I remember really loving this cereal, mm-hmm. but my mom, Grandma Ruth, wouldn't buy it for me. Well, guess what? You can buy it now. And keep your eyes on our channel because coming up soon, we'll be having Grandma Ruth on a special episode, probably in a month or two. So I'm excited about that. This is an A. I didn't go to the big reveal yet. You already revealed it. Oh, I didn't know we were doing the big reveal, but it is an A. It was too good to be a big reveal. Ben just couldn't wait. Mm-mm. So if you uh, like Ben's grade, hit that like button. If you didn't like Ben's grade, hit that like button. I love Captain Crunch. And that is good crunch. What I like about this, better than Captain Crunch, is the 
te- the uh, texture is better because Captain Crunch really hurts that roof of your mouth, and this doesn't. That's true. I like it. Okay. I respect that. This is good cereal. I not eat it all. I can't believe they discontinued it and went off the market, came back. Now it's here. Uh, well, in our, in our kitchen. We know where to get it at the local market because it's like I think, on, I think online it's like five or ten bucks, and I got it for like three bucks. Ooh, that's a steal. And I think who makes this? I believe it's Quaker that makes this. Yep, Quaker. Quaker makes this. Quaker Oats. I know they're more known for their uh, their hot cereal and their oatmeal squares that we that we've done. Mm-hmm. That was good. I was just so wow. excited. You know what? It was so good, Ben. You're doing the dance. You need to do the Ben dance. I don't got no dance. Oh, that's a new Papa Swag dance. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm changing stuff up. Does that hurt your eyes? Uh, no. You just I've seen worse. <laughs> seen a lot better too. I wasn't gonna. Make I tried this. Since this is a seventy cereal. Oh my gosh. Disco didn't die in the 70s, it died in the 80s. But people keep on resurrecting it. Sure. You know what disco is? I mean, kind of. Disco, disco, duck. Well, oh, yeah. that's not the right song. I was going to say. But disco, duck was the song. I just didn't sing it right. It's all right, it happens. What are you giving it? I'm giving this an A. I really like the texture. I do like it better than Captain Crunch. I forgot how much I love this cereal. And I'm giving it an A. The texture is way better. The sweetness is there. Uh, the milk adds to it. It doesn't really I'm look at it. The milk. It's still has a crunch. It's a really good cereal. I recommend it. I recommend if you, um, <clears throat> if you like Captain Crunch, you'll love this cereal. Yeah. If you've had this cereal, let us know. If you, have it, if you remember this from the 70s, let, it, let us know. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just I'm so excited. I'm overjoyed. Over, overjoyed? Overjoyed of Quest cereal. The little alien. My uh, daughter-in-law was over the house and we were showing her the cereal. And she said, what is this thing on the front? And I had to explain to her it's an alien. With with a helicopter head. Yep. <laughs> the name's Quisp. The Adventures of Quisp. There you go. The alien is Quisp. See? Even back in the 70s. It just looks like you got it all over you, dude. Delicious. Sure, that was delicious. <clears throat> it was. <clears throat> Put a gift, a meme, or a emoji in the comments if you enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button. If you remember, Quisp, tell us your 70s stories. <coughs> I gotta cough it out. I got too excited about this. It's all right. It happens to the best of us. You got anything else to say? Uh, ben, are you glad? I, I have a question for you, Ben. Are you glad that I introduced you to a great cereal from the '70s? Yeah, it's about time. You know, Ben, I'm going to tell you another story. I asked people to make comments about the '70s uh, if they remember the '70s, but you know, most people that were in the '70s they don't remember the '70s. Why? They Sorry. were they were on a lot of um, uh, a lot of different kinds of uh, oh, I got it paraphernalia. Huh? Hey, whatever helps helps you sleep at night. <laughs> well, a lot of people forgot about them. It was, it was, a, it was quite a time. I I got it. I was just a kid then. I was just a kid. I was uh, dreaming of being a uh, third baseman for the Baltimore Orioles. That's a good man. Third base? Pretty yeah, because my, my favorite baseball player was Brooks Robinson. That's fair. Yep. He played for the Baltimore Orioles for 23 seasons. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like, subscribe, comment down below, share the video. Do it all. Make comments. Tell us who your favorite baseball player was. We want to know. Ooh. I don't, know I, I don't know them. And coming up on your screen will be some of our other cereals. And maybe I'll make a playlist of nostalgia. And that, that, this will be the nostalgic series. Now you got to think of a favorite baseball player. Well, you're not going to do that today. Nope. We'll think about it later. And just remember, grab yourself a bowl. Grab yourself a spoon. Grab your favorite box of cereal. Put it out. And enjoy. Till the next video. Hold on, Ben. I had to do a little quick pop of swag dance. Okay. I'm Ben. I don't pop a swag. Enjoy and have a great day.